property, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or...? Only like five a day. Oh, good. Wanna see something cool? Meet me at these skateboards. You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already taken, so... Oh, wow, old school, yeah. huh? You look excited. You never look excited. Don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment. Sorry. Just look. This is what we're doing it for. Right, Kath? Yeah, absolutely. Sarah and Ryan are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. Be right there. You heard that too, right? Yes. I'm in the cockpit checking the diagnostics. Meet me here? Sure. We're trying to see why the ACA didn't spot the debris. It should have. I need eyes on to determine the damage. I'll perform an EVA and let you know, GC. Copy. 
Did the first to get hit? Probably. Could you keep an eye on the diagnostics? I'll get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. Look, I need real life experience out there. Of all the EVAs we could have, this one is pretty safe, right? I mean, I could just casually mention my stellar extravehicular activities training score. No, it's fine. I think it was 94. Mine was 95. See, you're so much better with numbers. Best you monitor the diagnostics. Fine. Just be very careful. We're still in orbit, so watch out for debris. Got it. Get prepped at the airlock, and I'll guide you on comms. If you find yourself drifting, use your thrusters to correct, and quickly double-check the latch of your left nozzle controller, and when I've you... double-checked it, Claire. I'm fine. I don't think you really double-checked. Claire, I've got this. this from anyway? Satellites, mission related debris, even pieces from Sarah's old station. Pearson Space Station? From when Rolf survived the breach during the moon mission? Uh-huh. Huh. I'm... kind of honoured. What weird thing to feel honoured about. <laughs> right, first things first, what can you see? Is there any damage to the thruster? <laughs> There's a huge bit of debris stuck in the thruster. Could be from the space station. Okay. Is the plating around the base of the thruster damaged? It's seen better days, but it's holding together. Good. What about the pipes around the thruster? They're pretty badly bent. Okay. They'll need to cut away if we want the thruster to be semi-functional. Is the thruster still receiving power? It is. Shut off the power lines before you do anything else. There's a big button in the hatch, just press it, and you're good to go. Okay. And watch out for the fuel canisters. If you hit one of those while you're cutting it. Well, don't, please. What do they look like? The big yellow canisters. Do you see them? I see them. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Very careful. Very careful. Okay. Turn the power off and begin the debris removal. Hey, look at that sunken space station in the bay behind our house. Yeah. Why? I was just thinking about it earlier. Did Dad ever take you swimming there when you were young? He did, but not when I was that young. What do you mean? Well... Never mind. So, anybody... Fancy? Back home? Wait, what? <laughs> Maybe even on the ship? What?
done. Okay, good job. Turn the power back on, and I'll run a diagnostic. On it. Power's back on. Running diagnostic now. And we're good. Okay. Great job, Cal. Head back inside. Uh, carefully. Yes. Yes, Claire. <laughs> Thank you. 
What now? All that? Same thruster. How bad is it? Bad, sis. One broken thruster could send us completely off course. I'll sit up. Let me do it. I'm already out of torpor. No, it's much too dangerous. Claire, we have to act fast. I'm going. Please be careful. I'll head to the cockpit to guide you. Coffee. Sis, I don't think we can salvage this thruster. It's taking severe damage. Diagnostics say the same. You'll have to cut it away. Are you sure? In this state, it's a bigger liability if it stays attached to the ship. Copy. Turn the power off before you do. Clara can't turn the power off from here. Okay. You need to cut the power cable connected to the thruster. You can't miss it. I'm through. Power is off. Right, now the tricky part. You need to cut the thruster from the ship. Slow and steady. Copy. Forest feels denser now, compared to a few years ago at least. That's impossible, unfortunately. I know. That's why I said feels. And it still looks beautiful. It used to look even more beautiful. And it can become more beautiful again someday. Maybe. Maybe. Yuri. 
okay. I just I haven't been here in a while. That's all. You look sad. No, no, I'm fine. I'm glad we get to Girls, we're almost there. Let's keep walking. the story. Right, yeah, um, where was I? Ah, right, okay, so, so, so mum was visiting one of her friends at a frat party that night. What's a frat party? Uh, well, it, it's like a birthday party, but instead of presents, people just, um, drink a lot. That sounds stupid. It was. I never liked going to those either. Uh, but I'm glad I did go to this one. Your mum saw me staring at her so much that she finally came up and asked me why I wasn't dancing. Why weren't you? Well, you've seen me dance. I told her that getting me to dance was a bad idea, and, well, um, I was proven right. What happened? I hit her drink out of her hands as I was flailing about like a lunatic, then a piece of the broken glass got lodged in her leg, then there was blood everywhere, and then we had to go to the emergency room. <sighs> Needless to say, I didn't dance again until our wedding day. But, Dad, why did Mummy fall in love with you then? I really have no idea, darling. Whoa. Cool, right? Who made this? Dad. Glad this is all still here. Claire and I used to come climbing here all the time. Why didn't I get to go? Well, you were a bit too young for that. Still are. Okay, Moonbear, come and get your gear. Uh, oh, yeah. Final checks to commence mission. <laughs> Uh, my foot. So, this is like the climbing wall at home. Except this time you get to use these cool looking claw things at left foot. If you make it to the top of the cork wall, you are one step closer to the moon. Dad? Yeah? Are there a lot of walls to climb on the moon? Um, no. But, but to get to the moon, you need a badge. Just like your scouting badges, basically. Why do I need a climbing badge? Well, well, it's a badge that, on our journey to the moon, were we to make an emergency landing, we needed to climb our way up, you could, and then you'd find your way home. Can something go wrong with the rocket? No, 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 they're, they're perfectly well built. Isn't that right, Claire? They're completely safe, Kathy. I promise. All right, so, final tally. Go or no go? Go. Just slam an inch pickaxe as hard as you can, one after the other. You can do it, Moonbird! It's okay, Moonbird. It's all padded. Try again. You got this. I made it! Amazing! We're going to the moon! Excited? Yay! <laughs> okay. Carefully climb down now, okay, Rimba? How? How? 
small atmosphere. How is that of safe? Of all people, you should know exactly how well, how well built Fine. they are. I will rephrase. How do you justify the risks of taking Kathy to live on the moon versus her just staying here on Earth? You know what is happening to our planet. You've forgotten. You read the same WMO reports that I do. You watch the same news. You, you know what happened. Come on, let's put the gear away. Yep. Why doesn't Claire want to go with us? She does. <laughs> Don't worry, change your mind. And we'll be together? Yep. Let's get you home. You need a big rest before your exam tomorrow. 